Just One Bite, brought to you in part by Urban Olive Trading Company. Picky eaters in your house. In our house, we have the just one bite rule. You cannot say that you don't like something if you haven't tried it. Hello, welcome to Just One Bite. I'm Meg Tucker, and today we're cooking with kids. But before we get started, we are going to try a few ingredients talk about them and then use them to create something super fun that you can make at home. Ready to meet the kids? Guys, are we ready? Yeah. yeah. We ready? Yeah. I'm very happy that you guys are here to cook with me today. First, let's meet the kids. We've got Zoe. Hi, Zoe. Hi, Hi how are you? Good. And we have Emesha. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Are you excited to cook? Yes. We have Pierce. Say hi to Pierce, everybody. Hi. Hi, Pierce. Hi. <laughs> and we have Michaela. Hi, Michaela. Hi. Ready to cook? Yeah, and last but not least, we have Noah. Hey, Noah. Hey. It's time to taste our just one bite ingredients. Do these all look pretty fun? Yeah. 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 Are you, do you know what these things are? No. no. Some of them. All right. This one is quinoa. Quinoa wawa. Quinoa wawa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one is caramelized onions. This one is roasted cauliflower and it kind of tastes like popcorn. Mama. And this one, this is balsamic vinegar, but I'm not going to tell you what flavor. I want you guys to guess when you try it. Pickled popcorn. Well, you know what? This one tastes a little pickly, but we'll see. Are you ready to start I, trying? I have pickled, still pickled popcorn. Are we ready? Because yep. it tastes so yummy. Zoe, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, take your fork. Here we go. Take a little bit on your fork. And just took Now them. hold your fork. That's kind of a big task, but here we go. Not, not yet. Mm. Not yet. Pass it on. Just keep it on your fork. Here's Pierce. Some. That's perfect. Pass it to Michaela. You have exactly one grain of quinoa. Michaela, a little bit on your fork. And Noah, Noah, you can keep it down there. That's okay. Uh-oh. Okay. Oops, it's falling. Are we ready? Yeah. yeah. One, two, three. Mm. What do we think of quinoa? Mm. Good. Okay. What is it? Does it taste good? Mm. Is it a little bit? Crunchy? Yeah. What's it taste like? It uh, doesn't really taste anything. Right? It's a, um, what do you call that stuff? Kind of tastes like plain noodles. Like plain noodles? It's plain. Do you know what? It's sort of, Maybe you would it's... eat this kind of like pasta or kind of like rice, but it actually has a lot of protein. And you know what protein does? It gives you lots of energy. And My mom puts like... it in a salad. Your mom puts quinoa in salad? So good. I... Guess what? What? Do you know what it tastes like? What? Potato breakfast chips. Well, you know what? Then you should have had more because that sounds delicious. Are we ready to try our next ingredient? Yeah. yeah. Now, this one, we're going to put a little tiny bit on our fork. Just a little teeny, 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 tiny bit. It's okay. I'm used to them. If, listen, you can take as much as you want, but we're, what are we, we're all trying this, right? And okay. we're waiting. Oh. Hold. Thank you, honey. Here we go. A little bit. Pierce. It looks like not jam. Yet, not yet. Here, we'll hold our forks here so it doesn't get all over your pretty clothes. Everyone take a little bit, Pierce. You want to take a tiny little bit on your fork? Yeah. Okay, tiny, tiny, tiny. I, can I you poke your fork in and can someone help? Here, help Pierce get a little tiny bit. All right. Michaela, pass to Michaela. That's little, that's... And Noah. And Whoa. then on three, these are caramelized uh -huh. onions. <laughs> That's Whoa. good. I like that you're trying, though. Look, I'm all gone it. Right? All gone it. You just ate the whole darn thing. Hey. Hmm. <laughs> Are you ready? Yep. One, two, three. I just ate mine already. 
What do we think? Mm. Oh. I like it. Yeah? I love it. Okay. Like barbecue sauce. Okay, so who gives it a thumbs up? Really? I and give it two. What don't you like? No, not for you? What don't you like about it? Onions. I love it. You don't like onions, but you know what? I'm really proud of you because you tried it. Let's try the next one. <laughs> give a little stab. This is roasted cauliflower. We're not eating it yet. We're just stabbing it on a fork. You can pick it up. Stab you know what? It. Let's drop the forks. Let's just pick it up. Pick it up with your I hands. like forks. I don't like You're forks. very fancy. You'll use a fork. I'm using my fingers. Fun. Pick a piece and pass it to Pierce. All right? Grab a piece. Don't eat it yet. Michaela, you can reach in. Noah, can you reach? Yeah. Reach on in. This is roasted cauliflower. I didn't get any. Okay, well here, we're coming back. Someone give Pierce a little piece. Okay, Pierce, are you ready? I think he'll like this little piece. Yeah, 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 thank you, that's perfect. Are you ready on three? One, two. Is yours in your mouth? <laughs> what Come on. Like? It's so good. Have what a bite. Popcorn? You have to have a bite. It tastes like buttered popcorn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially the little burnt part. I kind of like little, it. Right? The little burnt parts, like this part right here. They're so good. It gets all caramelized. Do you know that cauliflower has more vitamin C than carrots? Mm. It's super good for you. But then wow. we should start eating it back over there. You're eating it there, mister. I have it. All right, but you tried it, and that's the main thing. OK, Noah, you want to start? Everyone grab a piece of bread okay. in the bowl. Yeah, bread, now we're talking, right? Bread. Can you give me? Here we go. You grab one and then pass it back to us? Yeah. OK, now it's time to dunk. You want a piece of bread? Yeah. This, everyone listen, OK? This one, just a tiny little dunk, because it really soaks up. And careful of your clothes, because it's dark. Hold it right over your napkin. Uh, I got another piece. That's OK. And then hold it on your napkin, Pierce. Michaela, you want to help? Pull that over, grab a little dunk. I don't want to have a, I don't want to dip. But you know what? What is the rule today? Just one bite. Like a little tiny, tiny bite. I really think you're going to like it. Are we ready? And go. I didn't get any yet. Dunk away. Mm, right. Well, it tastes like mm. coffee. You know what? Can I tell you something? What? That's actually dark cherry. That's what I was gonna say. Were you gonna say it kind of tastes like a fruit? I mean, the bread's sour. great, it's a little sour. What do you think we would use balsamic vinegar for? Uh, go for it. Maybe Salads? cauliflower? Cauliflower, that'd be Salads. very good. Salads, chicken. What do we think, guys? Was it all good? Yeah. yeah. All right. Now that the kids have tried just one bite, we find out what we'll be cooking after the break. Now that we have tried roasted cauliflower, quinoa, caramelized onions, and dark cherry balsamic yeah, vinegar, yeah. Are, who's ready to find out what we're making today in the kitchen? Yeah. Me. Little drum roll, kids. We are making... Toast ram. Cloud cakes. What? What the? Here's what, what it is. Heck? It's cloudy with a chance of meatloaf. We're making meatloaf that looks like Ooh, cupcakes. Mm. Right? It's going to be fun. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Time to make the meatloaf. Oh my goodness. Do you like meatloaf? I love it. You do? So the meatloaf are gonna go in here. How fun are those? Okay, so we'll get to that, but for now, we need to add some ingredients. So we've got our ground beef in here. Okay. We also put a little sausage in here so it makes okay. it delicious. Now we need to add a little bit of quinoa. So why don't you put a couple spoonfuls, maybe one, one spoonful of quinoa. Beautiful. Dump it right in. And then let's put some of our caramelized onions. Remember we tried those? Yeah, I love those. You really liked them, didn't you? Yeah. It tastes like bar barbecue sauce. I know, isn't it good? Just give it a, yeah, perfect. Right. Yep. 
you can just put it right here and then we'll move it to the side. Now, do you know what a pinch is? Mm, yeah, just a little. Perfect. Just How little... about a pinch of salt? Pinch. Beautiful. Do you know why when you see some people, they go like this from way up high? Do you know why they do that? So the camera can see. <laughs> so also, so it gets over a bigger area. Okay, do you want to grind some pepper? Okay. Here, this is, have you done it before? No. Okay, you go like this. Oh. Turn the whole thing. Other way. Oh. Your other left. Perfect. Perfect. And then we're going to give a little squirt of this. <laughs> Worcestershire. Ready? <laughs> yeah. Oh, first we have to open it. Here we go. <laughs> give that a little. Ready? Yep. Now this guy, I'll just do this guy. Smell it. Mm, pretty good. It smells good, right? Smells okay. Like the barbecue sauce. Totally. I think you like barbecue sauce. Give that a little stir. Yeah. And it's a little bit hard because we've got all those ingredients. So you kind of got to go like this. Look at this. We'll really work like that. Mm, okay. okay. Give it a go. It works. It works. You are doing great. Perfect. Zoe, my dear, are you ready to help me get the meatloafs into the pan? Yeah. Okay, so here, your job is very important. See these? This is called silicone. Feel it. It's all squishy. It's like rubber. So you need to put one of these in here. Put one in there. Put them all in there. Got it. Perfect. I'll help you. We'll do six. So you can do the last two. Do you help cook when you're at home? Do you help mom, mom or dad cook? Okay, here. I make cookies. You make cookies, perfect. Well, you know what? These are like cupcakes, but they're made out of meatloaf. So here's what I'm doing, sweetheart, look. See the spoon? Watch, look, Zoe, look. Now, we're gonna push it down. Can I give you the spoon? And do, you're gonna push it down in there, okay? Okay, perfect. Give it a little push. I'll take these, we'll put these over here. Give it another little push. So this is gonna cook and then it makes it look like a cupcake, but it's made out of meatloaf. Are you ready to help with the top of the meatloaf? Okay. Okay, so you know what? You told me that potatoes, you weren't really liking potatoes, right? No. All right, well, you know what? We're gonna try this. Now, careful, this is a knife, so let's move those sweet hands of yours. Let's put them down by your side. All right, I'm gonna cut the potato. Whoa. We'll cut it in one chunk. We'll cut it again. Whoa, you're making me busy. <laughs> You want to know a trick? What? So you don't ever cut, because if you went like this, you could chop your hands. So you can fold your fingers under, so you go like this. You don't do it. Okay, can I get you to plunk these into that pot for me? Yeah. Sneak attack. Parents, if you want to sneak in a little extra health, use cauliflower in your mashed potatoes. What's really cool about cauliflower is they're never going to know it's there, and it actually contains 77% of your vitamin C in a day. So it's awesome. Throw it in, they'll never know. All right, we're going to keep cutting. Okay, there we go. What is your job? Go in there. Do it up, buddy. Okay, why don't you like potatoes? What is it about potatoes? Um, it tastes like french fries to potatoes. Excuse me, french fries are amazing. Do you not like french fries? No. All right, well, you know what? You're the only kid in yeah. this country that doesn't eat french fries. <laughs> nah. But I bet you're gonna try, because remember when these are all finished, what happens? This one bites. That's right, bud. <laughs> Amisha, what do you think that is? Melted butter. Oh, melted butter and milk. Ooh, here we Ooh. go. It's a little bit warm. 
So we're gonna pour a little in to our potatoes with our cauliflower. Okay, now we're gonna give this a bit of a, a mush. Have you ever used a potato masher? Yes, I have. All right, tell me what you've mashed. I have mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had sweet potatoes? Oh, yes, I have. Delicious, right? Here, let me give it a good old, we might need a little more liquid. So that's what you do. You don't ever really wanna pour a whole bunch in at first. So you just pour a little in at a time. We'll do this. And then I'm gonna get you to take this. And then we're gonna give it a little stir. Cause guess what we're gonna do next? We're gonna put it on the meatballs. Yes, and to get it on to the little meatloaf, we have to put it in what's called a piping bag. Okay, I'm gonna give it another stir, another squish, and then you're gonna stir for me, okay? What do you think? Should we use a little bit more? Yeah. Okay. Because you don't want it to get stuck in the piping bag. Yeah. Are you excited to eat these? Yes, I'm so excited. So neat, right? They look like a cupcake, but it's really made out of meatloaf. Okay, I'm gonna do one more little thing and then your job, honey, is to give it a bit of a stir. Okay. Okay, go for it. I'll hold the sides. Perfect. Once it's all stirred, then we're gonna put it into the piping bag. Here, let me give it a couple of goes myself. That's teamwork. Oh, this is like good exercise. If you're ever like, oh, I wanna build nice, strong muscles. You just mash potatoes. <laughs> okay, honey, are you ready? We'll put it in the piping bag. Okay. Okay, so here's, let me try first. So all you have to do is scoop this up and put yes. it in the bag. Yes, So you give it a big scoop. Let's do this together into, oh, see, you're fantastic. Another big one. I see my mom do this all the time. Perfect, in. Has your mom ever done mashed potatoes? Not mashed potatoes. One more, how about one more big scoop? And ice, for icing, oops. It's okay. This is definitely a job that you would need someone to help you with, right? Because it'd be kind of difficult by yourself, but a fun project. Okay, I think we're good. Now here, you know what we're gonna do? What? Oh, <gasps> it's perfect. Okay, let's go like this. Are you ready? Yeah. Now we're gonna bring, we're gonna move this guy. You bring the plate over. Okay. How about I do one and then you do one? Okay. Okay, are we ready? First, let's give this a little kiss. Kiss it. That's what we're hoping it turns out. Here we go. What do you think? Okay. Does it look like a cupcake? Oh. <laughs> looking like a cloud. Right, and they're called cloud cakes. Yeah. What do you think? Okay, are you ready? Okay, I'll hold the top. Now you sort of have to tip down, like lean down and really look at it. Oh, honey, you're doing great. Should we go into business together and have a cupcake shop made out of meatloaf? Okay, ready? Let's do the next one. saying a word because we're so pew. high oh. five good job <laughs>
<laughs> Does he want hair? Let's give him a little hair. Yeah, a little hair. This is so fun. Okay, let's top all of them. Yeah. What else? Can I put some gravy? You sure can. Turn it upside down and you don't squeeze it really tight, just really light. And sort of lean down so you're watching what you're doing. Beauty. You can do swirls, you can do dots, you can do whatever. It's gravy. So what do you guys think? You've got meatloaf on the bottom, you've got mashed potatoes with butter and deliciousness, and then you've got your veggies on top. Would you eat this for supper? Yeah. Uh-huh, we have two more. Let's do the last Let's two. Let's see, you want to smile? <laughs> I love it. Are you gonna eat this? Is this a just one bite or will you eat the whole thing? I'll probably the eat the whole thing. thing. Right. Does this, do we need any more gravy on these other three? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I have my happy face one? Sure. Put it on here. No, it's, it's time to eat it. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, my happy face one. So this would be fun to make with um, at home. Do you think if you didn't like potatoes, you would still think this is pretty cool? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, what about Pierce? Pierce doesn't really like potatoes. Oh, yeah. Do you think he'll eat this? He'll try. Hopefully he doesn't find out. He'll try. Just all the ones that I just put on. Are we just gonna, oh, oh look, I kind of wrote over your face. Oops. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, mm -hmm. great job. Delicious. When we come back, we get to eat. Will they love what they cooked? Just One Bite, brought to you in part by Urban Olive Trading Company. We did it! We made cloud cakes. First of all, let's all go like this, because you all helped. Was this fun to make? Yeah, yeah, it was so much fun. Super fun. Okay, yeah. so you've got your meatloaf on the bottom, you've got your mashed potatoes on the middle, and then you've got your toppings, so peas and corn and gravy. On three, are we ready to dig in? Yeah! Here we go, have at it. Happy face. Happy face. Ow. <laughs> um, um, this yes. one tiny, one bite. Go for it, my love. Okay. Just one tiny bite. You know what you could do? You could take your fork. You could go like this. Oh, not that. Oh, yeah, bud. No, oh, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone, mm. what do we think? I mm. love it. We're good. Does anyone need more gravy? Yes. We're <laughs> yes. All right, here we go. Thank you so much, guys, for cooking with me today. We had so much fun. So we much made fun. Cloudy with the Chance of Meatloaf. Are you guys gonna eat this at home? Yeah. Uh, and what are you gonna do the next time that you are in the kitchen and something is being cooked and you're a little nervous? What's the rule? Yes. Just one bite. Thanks, see you soon. Just One Bite is brought to you by the following sponsors. For today's recipe, visit JustOneBite.ca and follow us on Twitter.